welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm super excited to be doing this uh, with you guys today. Um, today I'm actually going to start my very first wellness journal and in this I'm going to be using my Archer and Olive A5 dotted journal which I absolutely love. If you guys are looking for a good quality bullet journal I suggest you go ahead and pick this up. Um, before we get started I do want to encourage you guys to go ahead and subscribe so you guys can be updated on my next video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my cover page, which I actually did a TikTok on this. If you guys want to see that, it'll be linked down below. Um, and then this is going to actually be our first page. I'm actually going to start with um, a quote on the right side, something inspiring. And then on the left side is going to be something to live by. Um, so I'm going to actually dig through as many stickers as I can in order to kind of figure out my theme. I really wanted something warm and endearing and just something meaningful with this journey um, since it's going to be about wellness. And these stickers I actually got off of Amazon, believe it or not. Um, I found some good quality stickers on Amazon. If you guys are interested, I can also leave that in the uh, as a link in the description down below. With wellness journaling, I've noticed the most exciting thing is to really put in your journal something that will kind of make you excited to open it, something that just kind of represents you. So every time you open it, you just kind of feel inspired, which to me, honestly, that's, that's how I feel with every journal. Um, I am going to get started on my quote page and I actually take this notebook uh, specifically for me to rip pages out of and paste into my journals when I want to write. Um, I'm going to really go for kind of like a vintage looking type of um, design here so I do rip the pages up just a little bit and kind of try to find the right size. That I'm looking for because it's not a very long quote but it is something that is going to need some space um, because I am going to attempt to do something kind of nice with the lettering and once I truly decide on the size that I want I swear guys I'm kind of indecisive when it comes to this I'm using my Tombow um, dual-sided sticky tape I think is what it's called that's what I've been calling it anyway and I go ahead and I just go ahead and stick the papers onto their designated spots and honestly I just feel good going into these things and kind of creating my own layouts um, I'm using washi tape from the washi tape shop which I honestly love their washi tape there um, they have so many selections and I am definitely going to be purchasing a whole lot more, I have to say. Um, but after selecting the correct washi tape for this cover, I kind of am struggling <laughs> with my nails, so please don't mind me. I'm just here for the aesthetics, honestly. Um, but I feel like washi tape just gives your pages just a little something. And not being satisfied with how many stickers I have on there, I did dive back into my little box and pulled out just two more stickers, um, which honestly, I kind of loved the messages that were on them. So that's why I definitely wanted them to be on the front page. This sticker in particular says, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. And I thought, why not put it in the beginning of my wellness journal? Next, I'm going into my acrylograph pens. I love these. These are from Archer and Olive, and I absolutely just adore these. I just recently started using them, and they're just basically acrylic paint in a pen, and I'm just beyond a fan of it. They dry so quickly, and with the Archer and Olive notebooks being uh, uh, so thick with their paper, I think it's 160 GSM, you can definitely paint on them and it does not seep through to the other side so there's no ghosting there's no crinkling it's just it's absolutely perfect and i adore these pens i believe the one i'm using right now is the warm fall collection i want to say um but it will be linked down in the description below if you guys are interested in looking at it or grabbing it yourself I am currently just doing a little plant doodle. Um, I think plants in nature is just so calming and I just really wanted to incorporate that in my front page. 
um, it's just something pretty to look at and it also gives the page um, the illusion of being a little fuller aside from all the paper that I've pasted into it but on this page this is actually going to be the only page on the cover that's gonna have these little plants on it which I'm okay with I just wanted to add a little extra something because I felt like it was missing it. By all means, guys, if you want to do your own wellness journal, you don't have to do all the things that I'm doing. You can be as simple as grabbing a pen and a ruler and just kind of going at it yourself. Or if you just want to get a regular dotted notebook or just a regular line notebook and kind of just keep track of your own wellness, you can go ahead and do that as well. This just happens to help me with my creativity and relaxation. So the quote that I decided to use for this journal is actually a quote by C.S. Lewis, which I think he's an amazing, amazing writer. Um, it actually says, there are far better things than we leave behind. And that just resonated with me so much. I just feel like a lot of things that we deal with, uh, with mental health, have to do with things in our past and it's easier said than done when people kind of say just let it go you'll be okay and it's just not that simple but to work through them is what's really important and that's what I really want this journal to kind of be about and on my other page I wrote um, something more personal for me uh, it says he has a plan and I have a purpose and that's just something that I need to constantly remind myself because um, being my age and just being in this world you kind of get caught up on a lot of things so over to the next page I am doing a mood tracker and with this one specifically it's going to be a color in mood tracker all I did was paste in some craft paper and I'm just going in with my micron pen to kind of uh, write in my label for it. I've decided to do kind of like a vertical tracker with this, so to speak. So this tracker is actually going to go from the month of August to March. That's how long I'm hoping to have this journal for. And I'm just going to track everything as I go. Um, like I said, everything's going to be shaped that way. I'm going to go in actually with these stamps. I'm not going to write in the months on top. I'm just going to stamp them in. I actually got these stamp sets from Amazon. If you guys are interested, I'll link it down below. I was really obsessed and in love with the vintage looking box. I think it just gives it that perfect aesthetic, so to speak. I just, I love vintage things. Um, but yes, so that's what I did just to make it a little easier on myself and not have to write absolutely everything in. Um, but this is kind of my mood tracker. I wanted to make it as simple as possible being that I also tend to include a mood tracker in my bullet journal spreads. Um, so I just didn't kind of want to overdo it too much since I tend to draw and make kind of more elaborate mood trackers in my bullet journal. So I just wanted this to be as simple as possible, just something I can open and just kind of keep track of for myself. Going back in with my acrylic craft pen, I just felt like it needed a little more color than it did. Uh, so I was kind of trying to give it an illusion that I stuck this paper into the book by making those edges colored. Um, I think it came out rather nicely. Now all I'm going to do is open up, open up, make some boxes talking about what each color, um, what emotion is going to represent. So I wrote happy, sad, depressed, excited, tired, overwhelmed, and I kind of just inserted a whole bunch of fall colors into being what it's going to actually uh, represent for me. And I kind of like the way it came out. The next page is something more exciting, I guess. Um, I made a need and wants page, and this can go from anything from needing to buy a new iPhone charger to I need to buy chocolate whenever I feel sad, like something like that. That's what this page is essentially for. I take some more washi tape just to give it a little more personality so to speak because I just kind of felt like it was just bare with just the one line in the middle 
Um, but that's all I did for this page. I am actually really excited and looking forward to using this page specifically. Um, and so far, so good. I kind of like how it's coming out. And on to the next page, which I have to say was my favorite page to create. This one is letting go of. So this page is going to be specifically about writing down things that I need to let go. For example, I need to let go of frustrations that overwhelm me that I obviously cannot control or I have to let go of the fact that I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow and I just need to take life as it comes. So here all I'm doing is I'm taking my Crayola Super Tip marker and kind of my best to kind of make it look as if it was calligraphy as if I tried to do hand lettering however I'll be honest I am not entirely proud of how it was coming out so I then went in with my mild liner and kind of made it look like it had a drop shadow going on which started to make it look a little nicer I liked it a whole lot better that's for sure um, but continuing on, it just still felt like something was missing. So at this point, I went in with my Micron and I just outlined that drop shadow to just give it a little more emphasis and to make it look as if the letters were popping out of the page. And I liked that a whole lot better and I'm so glad that I did that. Next, I go in with my Micron and I just start outlining all the little doodles that I made. Um, I pre-planned this journal for this video specifically, but if you guys are interested in seeing how I made these little notepad and paper doodles, just comment down below and I'd be more than happy to just do a short video of just little doodles that I use in my journals. Um, these little doodles are actually going to be specifically for me to write in things that I need to let go of or things that I want to work on letting go of. For example, like the weather. <laughs> I can't control the weather and it, that's okay. Um, or I can't control what goes on at work, but I can control my attitude when I'm at work. So just little things like that. And I just think it just kind of gives my journal a little more personality and to be honest I absolutely just loved making these little doodles I thought they were just too cute um, I tried to do as many variations as I possibly could um, but I'm overall glad with how it came out now on to the next page this page specifically I was actually really excited about I went right in with my acrylograph pen and I made this page dedication to my ideal life. Now, that's not to say that I'm unhappy with my life by any means. I'm very happy. I am a mama, I am a wife, and I'm just really happy with the direction my life has gone. However, that doesn't mean that there's things that I don't want to change or that I don't want to get better at. So that's what that page is specifically for. Now, this page is the one that I'm super excited about. This is my anxiety tracker. And to be honest, I just feel after you have children and after you get married and you're kind of like an adult, you tend to face a lot of anxiety. Am I good enough? Am I doing the right thing? Am I being a good parent? Am I being an attentive wife? Am I paying attention to myself and taking care of myself? I feel like that's all adding to anxiety because you overthink it and you have this assumption that you need to be perfect at everything because of where you are in your life or you need to have your life together and to be honest to me that gives me anxiety and that's okay that is absolutely okay I just want to be mindful and keep track of what days of the month am I feeling anxiety and I want to work on that because I want when I start my journal in March to see those red blocks that will be the representation for my anxiety go down. I want to bring it down to as minimal blocks as possible because anxiety sucks guys, it's true. It really does suck and that's not something that we can all deny. But I definitely want to encourage you guys 
to make an anxiety tracker, whether it's on Notion, it's in your own journals, your diaries, or your bullet journals. I feel that's something that everybody can really benefit from. Just tracking your anxiety and seeing where you are with yourself and helping yourself and helping benefit yourself for the future, for your family, for your children, for your husband or your wives. I think it's important. I felt the page was a little bare, as always, and I decided to throw in these little plant doodles. I am not a plant mama. I tried and my kids kind of killed them. So I do want to try again. Um, so I decided to just doodle in some plants that I think were beautiful, that I looked up, and I feel like it really gave the page some personality. Um, by the way, I am looking to be a plant mama for real, and if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations for a plant that I will not kill um, since I'm new, please drop them in the recommendations below or send them to me on Instagram. I'd love to see them and then when I actually get the plants, I will post them so you guys can see. Me being the colorful person that I am, wanted to go ahead and just add a little bit of life to these plants. So I did use my Crayola Super Tip, Super Fine Tip markers. Um, just to give them a little more life and if you guys are looking for some inexpensive markers to start adding to your own journaling um, journey I suggest you get these markers because they're amazing super easy they're washable you can't go wrong with them honestly I use them for everything And that is pretty much it for this page. I wanted to make it as simple as possible at the end of the day and I feel like I did accomplish that um, aside from just adding just a tiny bit of life and just a little bit of personality to the header and the lettering. Um, you guys don't have to be as elaborate as I am so to speak. I just like I said I use this to kind of wind down and it's just what works for me. Now the next page. Um, the paper I actually used from this is Archer and Olive paper. Um, you guys are probably gonna see it in the next couple minutes because I'm gonna use it again. Um, but I just tore it up and then put it just on the top part of the page as headers. And on it, I wrote what I can control and what I can't control, which I feel is super important because I don't want to see I'm a control freak, but I do like to know what's going on a lot of the time. And I need to just realize that it's okay and that we just sometimes need to just let things be and we need to just trust the process and just be calm about it and not overwork ourselves. Now this page I'm actually kind of happy for. I took some craft paper with this one and all I did was craft it up like I usually do and I put it right smack in the middle. It's going to be my goals page. However, uh, we all make mistakes and we all are going to do things we don't like in our journals, which is totally fine. I did not like what I did here, so I just went off and ripped it off and that's okay because as I contemplated what the heck am I going to do with this page, something came to me. I grabbed my Archer and Olive notepad and this notepad I actually got in my subscription box that they do I believe every three months or so and I grabbed my A5 paper. It's dark blue but the bullet dots on it are white, so you can't see it because of the camera, but they're there. And I just kind of took my Tombow um, thing and went ham and glued it right in, which I really liked. I felt like it gave it a little more color in life, and I took some more craft paper, tore it up, 
because I still liked the idea of having goals in the center of the page. I thought that that was really nice and I just glued it in there uh, right in the smack dab center because I really have this idea of writing around the page anywhere and everywhere that I see fit and I took my Posca paint pen in black and I just wrote goals very simple um, I kind of went over it a couple times and tried my best to do kind of like a drop shadow with the letters then I got a little more creative and took my white Posca paint pen and kind of gave it a little bit of a sheen and just took some washi tape from the washi tape shop yet again and put it on the two bottom corners just to give it a little bit more personality and that's it guys you have it right there this is the first couple spreads of my wellness journal and I just really wanted to share it with you guys um, I hope you guys enjoyed it I really appreciate you guys stuck out this long and want to encourage you guys to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified next time I upload don't forget to follow me on my social medias where I constantly post journaling stuff and I hope to see you guys in my next video see you soon